Welcome back to Take Apart and a version 2.5 of Quenchang UVK5 HF mode. The 2.5 mode has additional antenna that will replace LED, so let's see. Mode kit comes in this bag and plastic case, very well protected. Link is in description below. This is new flexi board with tiny IPX antenna connector and some additional components for AM receiving. PCB way is the place you need for designing and creating your projects. They have it all and for affordable prices. Get your PCBs, PCBAs, CNC or even 3D printing done and shipped worldwide. Make sure to use my referral link linked in description. Also you can just grab existing community projects like for example these for Flipper Zero. Once again PCBWay.com and my referral link is in description below. We also got IPX the open end RF cable. Choke and three capacitors, tiny wire and SMA female connector that will be installed on top of the radio. So let's start. I will quickly tear down my radio. No special tools needed. Just spray it open from the bottom. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment what is your most difficult part of this mode. This black thing goes right here. So let's desolder speaker wires and pop up display. Be careful. First step is to remove this component and solder on this one. One leg here and another one here. Easy, right? By the way, I have a tutorials on how to install HF mode version 1 and version 2 as well. Next step is to replace this tiny component with one provided. This thing is so tiny that it is safe to say that it is one of the most difficult steps in this mode. So check on reading glasses, two shots of rum and you should be fine. Done. Not the prettiest job, but it works. Let's move on. To remove this 8 leg chip, easiest is to cut all 8 legs and desolder legs one by one. Like so. Again, be very careful as it is easy to damage surrounding components. Now I can test fit mode PCB, then stick it in on place with double sided tape. Align it and boom, looks good. I will solder on 8 terminals for X chip. Take your time and do it properly. It is crucial that you solder on all 8 legs. Good, let's solder on ground, the small with just solder and large with provided wire, like so. Perfect, next is to jump audio pad the right side of this component. I will use bit of that wire. Freaking dentist job. Alright, last jumper goes from this R bed to the left side of this little component. Just like so. Alright, recap. We soldered ground here and here. Also jumped audio pad to here, soldered all 8 legs of that X chip and jumped R pad here. Done. Let's desolder LED from top like so and enlarge LED hole in case with 6.5 mm drill bit. Next cut off all terminals from SMA connector as they are too long. Now solder on that IPX to open end RF wire, core the middle and shield the ground. Perfect. Chuck that connector in and screw on the provided nut. Now I'll feed RF wire below the display and connect it to new PCB. Just like so. Solder on speaker wires and try to close radio. New RF cable can restrict buttons from clicking, so route it somewhere safe. Click radio together. Test all buttons and it's time for testing. Make sure to install CEC firmware for modded radios. Here is the guide. So head to GitHub and download CEC firmware. Links are in description. You will need CEC 041 
version. Then flash it to the radio. A used browser flasher tool. Few seconds later will be CEC041 firmware on my newly modified radio. Product links are in description below. Also all links related to this procedure. Now let's test it out. I'll attach SMA joiner and my 771 antenna and let's enter HF menu. That is quite loud, not like version 1. Here I'll go USB modulation and try different channels. Here on 40 meters band I can hear someone talking. Keep on mind that I don't have a proper antenna. One thing you can do is to subscribe and join my membership so that I can afford to buy the antenna for these frequencies. Thanks for watching and see you next time.